First thing that comes to my mind when I hear Corvallis is college town. Convenience and great people and cool spots within a, a small you know, vicinity of a great downtown. And squirrels and peacock, local boys. It's grown quite a bit since I returned, but easy going. You know, beautiful landscape. When I first stepped on campus back in 1998, coming in as a walk-on, uh, ultimately out of high school, I knew I wanted to get into coaching and I actually thought I was gonna be a high school coach. Some of my decision making on becoming a walk-on up at Oregon State was I, I thought I was gonna get exposed to the best coaching available. I do remember having a couple conversations even when I'm a freshman uh, with Coach Riley. You know, he had expertise on both sides of the ball. That always stuck with me of, you know, to do this thing at a really high level coaching, you gotta have an uh, understanding and expertise really on both sides and he had that. The program had been down, hadn't seen a lot of success. Um, and so was there a real belief, you know, that a, that a turnaround was coming. The work started to begin. I remember when Coach Erickson arrived, he had some confidence to him, talked about being able to do it here and get it done. And then we did, we found ways to win some games in 99. Some awesome celebrations here in Research Stadium around that time um, that did set things up for, for the next season of 2000. The confidence and again, that, that group players and coaches. Ken Simonton was the running back. Chad Johnson on the outside making some deep shot plays, explosive. Uh, but TJ Hushman Zada on the other side of him at receiver. We would run a straight 34 strong cross counter action. Ch Chad on a big post ball or TJ run across the middle of the field. 350 vert when we're all more or less action faking going, going vertical. I had to work to get their attention sometimes <laughs> in the huddle. Um, I remember uh, Chad and TJ commonly would come back to the huddle saying they were wide open, you know, and they didn't get the ball and they were wide open. Uh, and that old line group was, was physical and animated and having great memories, not only on the field, but in the locker room with those guys. It was a special season. Oregon State, Jonathan Smith, the walk-on, red-shirted, worked his way off the scout team, and the coaches say this junior probably will wind up one of these days on the sideline of coach himself. When this opportunity came about, uh, I did think it fit. You know, obviously I had experience playing here and, and loved playing here, but also, you know, married now, three kids, Corvallis, uh, some of the things I value, uh, being a, a husband and a father, it fit. And so ultimately, the place means something to you a little bit more than you know a, a place that you've never been before or have a history with. Uh, and so I think that's icing on the cake. You know, for me, the trajectory is obviously we want to continue it on a positive way and win a bunch of games and win the biggest of the games. Uh, and I get encouraged by the development of the players within the program and seeing like taking place right now We've got some guys who've been here two or three years who haven't played all that much, and now they're being really productive. And it's Baylor who gets the call, and a gaping hole for B.J. Baylor. There he goes. Slanting right, cuts it back. B.J. Baylor breaking tackles into the end zone. Touchdown. The only difference I see between this season and all the other seasons is we know that we can win. I feel like the other years, we kind of second-guessed ourselves, thinking like we can could win. For every game we go in now, we, we feel like we should win. And that's just from Coach Smith. BJ, what up, man? All right, well, let's get it going today. Get better. Press the line of scrimmage, and then be ready to cut the ball back. He knows how to win in the Pac-12, because he played in the Pac-12. So it's just like having him as a coach and having him as a leader and watching him how he presents himself just helps us go and just play as one. All or nothing today. Good ball. Touchdown, check down thinking down here. My coaching style, I think it's truthful. Um, I try to be well thought out. Really big picture, try to lay out some core beliefs and really let your staff and players run with it and get out of the way. Um, because they do, I think it's important to surround yourself with some really good people, coaches and players, and uh, just trying to create an environment that they can do their best work. Right now, Oregon State's offense is rolling. The defense is doing good. Pac-12 North, you're on notice. Being at Four and two, these guys have uh, come to compete every Saturday. I was confident that we could be in a, a situation where we're going into the back half of the season, still in the conversation to win the Pac-12. I tweeted it last year, Christmas Eve, that we'd be Pac-12 champs. So just to manifest that and just to go and go get it, it'll be a dream come true to be honest. 
playing a game after a bye week, a uh, big message has been is getting back to game speed, heading into playing a, a really good opponent, maybe the team that's playing the best in the league over the last couple of weeks, and know that we're going to have to play really well for four quarters against a really good Utah team. Hey, you earned this. You guys earned this. But hear this. We ain't done yet. Yeah.